brings our steerman right back down onto the groundway environment. He extends into the right end zone. Brings that airplane straight up, straight up, straight up. You can see one ton with only 220 horsepower. It comes to a stop at about 300 feet. He kicks it into hammerhead turn. Dives that airplane straight back down at the ground. Pulls back, misses the ground as he comes right back at us here from air show right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is some kind of pilot. That is some kind of flying. That is John Moore. Now as John repositions out here off of Air Show Center, he'll be setting up for his John Dives in the aerobatic area. Smoke going from the stack on the right side of that engine. Now as he dives in, brings that airplane right on up and around as he goes straight up, straight up, straight up, comes across the top. Hanging by his seatbelts and shoulder harnesses that open cockpit, he breaks the loop at the 5 8 point. Executes a half roll while diving on a 45 degree downline. Now as John accelerates right down there, look at that smoke rolling off the grass at Show Center. He flies the airplane right on around in the classic air show maneuver known as the Cuban 8, a giant 8 lying on its side. Now as John extends into that right end zone, airspeed builds about 130 miles an hour, he aggressively pulls the airplane right back up and around, flies it right through the classic barnstormer's loop. Wheels pointed up as he cuts across the top. Now as he dives back down at the ground, pipes it perfectly and recovers at about 20 feet off the pavement. Now John goes there, show right. Flies that airplane right on around the classic barrel roll. He flies it right on around the world's largest barrel out there, off of air show right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for John Moore. Now as John goes vertical out there, look at that smoke just rolling off the grass out there. He brings the airplane around with a vertical reversal. Quarter roll up, quarter roll down. Lights himself right back up on his show line. Now as he extends out here from our right at about 110, 120 miles an hour. Literally inches off the ground. The nose comes up, he rolls that airplane into the fourth. Close up. Patient roll. Right on that show line. And that's the heart. The four point roll. You know, since this airplane is in its original Army Air Corps, Randolph Field markings, the blue fuselage, yellow wings, the stars on the top wing, U.S. Army on the lower wing, as he executes a beautiful hammerhead turn right out here at Air Show Left. Now as he keeps that steerman right out there in our picture window at Show Center, brings that steerman right back down on the hard deck, nose comes up, he's going to carve that sky, maybe 45, three slices, now there's three, four to be inverted, there's five, six, seven, and eight, the eight point roll. Now John extends into that right end zone, brings that steerman right down, you can see he's out there treetop level. He dives back out there, gets himself a little extra airspeed as he sets himself up in that right end zone. Smoke pouring off the runway out there at air show right. Flies it across the top, right there, once again, hanging by his seatbelts and shoulder harnesses. In that open cockpit, you know they can't be tight enough as he executes a half roll, lining himself right back up on his show line. Now as John comes down the show line, he's showing us the slow roll. Now we told you that that uh, does not have the inverted fuel. All right. Great thing about gravity, though, is put it in the aerobatic area. Got a click in there. You can hear that 102-inch long Macaulay prop. As John brings the airplane right on up. Climbs it on a 45-degree upline. Half a four-point roll. Hangs it inverted. Jabs that stick all the way forward. And now he flies the back five-eighths of the loop as he reverses out here off of air. Show right. Bring the airplane in the left end. So one of the more intricate maneuvers you'll see as he climbs that airplane. Very low altitude out here. He snaps that stick forward until the airplane has no energy left. At that point, he has to decide, can he fly the airplane around the back half of the loop? Safely, or does he need exit? He can take it around and he flies right up straight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is known as the reverse aid. Now John is flying for us the square loop. We saw the round loop. We saw the Cuban eights. The reverse Cuban eights. Now we're seeing the square loop where he carves a 90 degree cuts right on through. And right here as he dives straight down at the ground, he is pushed violently into that seat as he cuts that four cut. Ladies and gentlemen, John Moore. Let's hear it for John Moore. Fantastic flying. Now as John goes vertical in that right end zone, clear roll up. Now he brings that stick back into his lap and rests, leading up vertical reverse. Oh man! Now as the ground gets really big in the windshield, he eases back, recovers right down on the deck. Res that steerman's right there. You can see that right wing tip about four inches off the ground. Brings the airplane right on up into the vertical again. Rolls it on up, corner roll gives you a nice top platform view. You can actually see the rudder as he steps on that left rudder pedal. Full deflection, aileron, exiting, stage left. Oh man, I'll tell you what, with John Boy, the action is fast, it is near this, and it is constant. Now as we watch you go to that left end zone, John pops up into the vertical. Straight up out there off that left side. 
Once again, hanging by those seat belts and shoulder harness, he goes inverted. Flies the airplane right down our show line. One half, two and eight, stop, turn around to position himself right at your Joe Center. Now he's got powers up that 670 cubic inch, 220 horsepower engine. He's carving out the giant eight-sided loop. The stop sign in the sky, right across their spine. There's six, Browns get big down, there's seven. And there's eight, <laughs> oh man, John four. Now John rolls out, they're exiting off of air show right. Repositioning for the next portion of his air show robotic demonstration. Brings the nose up, picks it through right there, there's a snap roll, not one, but two snap rolls, and he recovers out here at air show right. Now he lets that nose come down, let those wings start to fly again as he comes down our show line. At air show right, he brings the airplane straight back up into the vertical, quarter roll up. Right there, he holds on, holds on, holds on, look at that, now he's starting to slide backwards, he's come to a complete stop. He's going about 30, 40 miles on, and then a violent whip stall, and right there folks, he's in the tailspin, he's in the tailspin right there, he's going through one, one and a half, one and three quarter, grab a hold of her, John. Ground's getting big, buddy. Let's grab it. Let's go. And he's flying again, ladies and gentlemen. John Moore. <laughs> and now John recovers out here off their show left. Oh, man. Gets that heart beating again, buddy. Oh, man. As we go around out here off of their show left, John runs again. Brings the steerman up, and this is one of the most unique maneuvers you'll ever see in an air show. This is known as the ball and lead. John will bring this airplane, he'll have that stick basically paint back in his lap. You'll be able to see the rudder and the ailerons as they actually go from full deflection. This airplane literally falls out of the sky like a giant leaf. One thing John's really got to be careful about, he gets an incredible rate of descent going here, so he has to time his recovery just right to be able to allow that airplane to have enough space left to fly away. Look at that airplane, you can see the rudder, the ailerons going. He brings it down, and oh, oh, I'll tell you what, the king of depth perception, that is John Moore, right down on the deck, dives behind the tree line, I hope, and now he recovers out there, off of air show right, in a big old crop duster style turnaround. Now John brings that steerman right back down the show line. He's got her cooking with gas right here, ladies and gentlemen, from air show right. There it is, 120 miles an hour, right down on the deck. He brings that nose up. Give him a great big wave. This is the traditional air show pilot salute. Give her a wave. Ladies and gentlemen, John Moore. It's running again, folks. I gotta tell you, I can say that gravity thing has got to be one of the most consistent things I've ever dealt with. As we watch out here off of air, show left. Shot four, hammerhead turn. Dive straight back down. The airspeed winds up. Gail Timber winds down, and the ground gets really big in the windshield. Now as we watch him swing around out here off that left side. Demonstrating a unique maneuver that they didn't train it quite like this when they taught him how to do side slips, folks. Look at that, absolutely has that left wing tip and the left elevator about inches off the pavement out there. Just going down the show line there in the big old side slip right down the show line. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at some kind of pilot. He is the one, the only, Mr. John Moore. You know, his mom has no idea what he's doing today. John, my man, you know, you got to put those wheels down if you're going to land here. Seriously, John, we need the wheels down to land. There we go. Gears down. Oh, snap roll on short final. And now as if just that's a normal procedure here. Brings the airplane on. Uh, runway's actually going more this way, John. If you turn a little bit to the left here. He's got one tire on. Still got one tire on. Now he's got two tires on, but they sold you three, John. Two tires 